Alright, here is a game that is based on an animated series I've watched back in the 1990s. It features two guys who are rather dim-witted. And that, my friends, is Beavis and Butthead. This show was the shit back in my childhood. Now, you may think that Beavis and Butthead is a rather idiotic show. Nope. It was instead clever, smarter, and funny. The first segment of the show features them either at home, school, or wandering around in the town of Highland causing a lot of trouble. Sometimes we see them working at Burger World. The second segment shows them sitting on the couch watching music videos and poking fun of them. During that segment, you can see them dancing or see Butthead slapping Beavis, Beavis kicking Butthead in the family jewels, or they would just fight each other. In 1994, when the show was very popular, they even had their own video games, which is what I'm going to review tonight. I'm going to take a look at the Super Nintendo version of the game that I own. As soon as you start the game, you'll first see a scroll of words that goes something like, Beavis and Butthead are not role models. They're not even human, they're cartoons. Something like that. Then, you get to see the intro, and I must say, it has the opening from the series. <laughs> <laughs> the story involves Gwar coming to town, but due to not having enough cash, Beavis and Butthead must find a way to get into the concert by doing something cool. That's the story. You can choose from four various levels. I would recommend Highland High School. You can play either Beavis or Butthead by pressing the select button. If you want to know who my favorite character is, it's Beavis, because he was my favorite instead of Butthead. For weapons, you have toy guns, boxing gloves with baseball bats, chemical beakers, etc. For items, you have coins to buy snacks from vending machines that will refill your life meter. Not to mention extra lives, they are seen rarely in certain stages. During gameplay, you can press the Y button to have Beavis scratch his ass or Butthead pick his nose. You can also slap the crap out of each other by pressing the L button. Yeah, that's something to laugh at. When two characters are close, you can have one of them leap through dangerous hazards by pressing the A button. For enemies, you have humans and animals. Also... Alligators coming out of the toilets? Okay... Since when do alligators come out of toilets? I know it's a video game, but still. The game does feature characters that were seen from the show, like one of their classmates, Daria. Watch this. Take that, Diarrhea! <clears throat> Speaking of which, fun fact. Daria has her own series, which is a spin-off done by the same creator, and ran for five seasons from 1997 to 2001. And I really don't think neither Beavis nor Butthead or both of them appeared as cameos. Then you got Stuart, Van Driesen, Principal McDonald, Dicker, and Buzzcut, you know, who yells and kicks the crap out of the duo. For bosses, you got this dickwad named Todd, and I have a complete, total hatred on him. Yeah, I pwn your ass, douchebag! When you're facing Tom Anderson, it's different from the others. You have to either jump over him or do a co-op leap to get the apples from behind. While he's facing towards you, you start throwing, except you can't throw them while his back is turned. And I'm sure you all know who Anderson is, right? I'm the guy who can't stand them two hoodlum bastards who wreck my lawn, my yard, whacking off in my tool shed, my camper, and painted my cat's butt. Yeah, I thought I'd say that. Yeah, yeah, that was a good time then painting the cat's butt. Yeah, that was cool, Beavis. <laughs> After you defeat a boss, you'll see Beavis and Butthead in pictures, and the cool thing is that you can change the expression of their faces with your controller. Didn't know you can do that. Once you've completed the stage, you'll go into a minigame, Couch Fishing, where you can fish for food whilst avoiding old ladies and vicious dogs. I do remember an episode where they were doing couch fishing, and that steward ended up getting his ass hauled by the police in the end. The boss in the hospital is a nurse with a big butt, who the boys call her Butt Woman. And if you look at the way Beavis and Butthead are running in the game, look at the one from the screen cap. You can tell how spot on that looks. In the Turbo Mall stage, you get to play an arcade called Butt Fighter, which is a parody of Street Fighter. The last stage is Gwar Concert. Wow, you've come a long way to get this far. Make sure you're lucky enough to survive against security guards and familiar enemies from previous stages. 
I do have a bit of a history. When I was 13, around 97 and 98, I almost accomplished that game until I died. Fast forward to 2014, I entered the password, picked up where I left off, and then BAM! Totally kicked that game's ass. There are two endings. If you make your way without dying, you get the good ending. But if you don't, you get the sucky ending. <laughs> About the password I've mentioned, yes, the game has a password, but heed my warning if you dare to enter it. Get a load of this. What the? That's right, you have no lives and almost no health. That is some bullshit right there. There's also the Mega Drive version that I've never played. The only difference is that Beavis and Butthead have their own life bars and no lives, while the one on Super Nintendo had lives, one life meter, yet it was a different game. I know, people have different opinions, some like the Mega Drive one and the Super NES one, but if I had to choose, I would go with the SNES version. And I don't care what they say, this was a very fun, kick-ass game. In my opinion. If you like the Genesis, or should I say Mega Drive version? I'm cool with that. That's your opinion. May I remind you, I never played the Beavis and Butthead PC games in my life, and from the looks of the graphics, take a look. They are quite impressive for 1995. I mean, the characters and the entire backgrounds have a spinning image that were seen from the show itself. As for the voice acting... <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Got any leftovers? <laughs> <laughs> Only the drive throughs open, boys. We won't be needing you for a couple of days. <laughs> cool. Don't have any comments on that. Another fun fact. Christopher Brown not only did works on Beavis and Butthead, but he also wrote an episode called the Yoshi Shuffle from the new Super Mario World animated series. We're outnumbered! This is not fair! Objection overruled! Now I know what you're going to say. Did you ever play the Game Gear and Game Boy ones? Again, I've never played them in my life, though I have seen a video of the Game Boy version, and the graphics look awesome for 1998. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, this ends another installment of Video Game Reviews. Stay tuned as I take a look at the theatrical film, Beavis and Butthead Do America on Cartoon Reviews. <laughs> Do America! We're gonna score! We're gonna be movie stars. There's gonna be chicks, and we're gonna go to parties. It's gonna kick it! Ow! Settle down, Beavis.